got some nitrous. This little bottle here, it's gonna solve all our problems. Now, the last nitrous kit we did, we did in Australia to the Honda Civic. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. But we gave our bottle a name, and back then I think I called him Nicolas Cage. I'm not entirely sure what to name this bottle, so I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comment section. Smash the like button on whichever comment you think is the correct appropriate name for this bottle, and I will literally name it that and I'll write it on here. Okay, so names in comment section, like which one you like. And that aside, obviously we're putting nitrous on this car today, so enough chit chat, let's start breaking down the kit that we got and how it's gonna work. So welcome to today's video. Obviously a little bit of a different intro there, but also new hair. So, you know, we gotta make sure I look good for when uh, I go see the wife again. Anyways, that aside, I got myself the Nitrous Express, the NX, just super basic wet nitrous kit. Now, a wet nitrous kit is very different from a dry nitrous kit in the way that it is injecting fuel at the same time. So that's hence why it's called wet. A dry nitrous kit is when you're just injecting straight NOS into the intake manifold or the engine. You're not having like fuel added in at the same time. So what that means is we're gonna have two separate solenoids, one for the fuel and one for the nitrous. And I'm sure you can tell just by looking at these two solenoids, you can really tell, uh, like see from the gauging size of the wire that the nitrous one is much beefier. And I am, I'm gonna take an assumption and say that that's probably because this thing has to handle a lot more PSI than the fuel. I know fuel pressure is gonna be around 50, 60, as in nitrous I think is 300 plus, even maybe more. So obviously, um, don't ever get these mixed up. Go whichever one is labeled and follow the instructions. Um, this is the line that comes from the bottle up to the solenoid, and then from the solenoid, we have these little lines that will then go to the nozzle. Super easy, straightforward kit. There's really not much to it. You know, you gotta do some wiring yourself with some switches and stuff. Um, but if you've installed any type of nitrous kit in the past, this is a, a walk in the park for you. Um, obviously, jump online and check out the instructions. But I think there's enough talking. This is pretty much the kit and all it is. It's literally just putting A, B, C, and D together and uh, wiring it up and go. I guess the first step to this entire installation is going to be finding the perfect place to mount your bottle. Um, I really needed to clean out this, uh, this trunk or boot, uh, but you know what, it's okay. So, um, the idea is, is my understanding is you want it to be as low as possible. I'm going to try mounting the bottle in here like this because there's a nice hole there that I can run the line through. Uh, worst case scenario, I can just run the line um, inside the car as well. Actually, I might opt to just do that. It'll be easy to just run it inside the car, I think. So. Let's get the bottle, start playing around with the brackets. I'm gonna vacuum and clean this out and uh, we'll get the thing mounted and then run all the lines. So we've got a bit of an update for you guys. The bottle is now mounted in the tank. We got that in there nice and secure. Did I say tank? I meant the trunk, um, but this is the tank in the trunk. You know what I'm saying. Um, we've got the line tightened up and run through here. It comes out down there next to the passenger seat along the floor there behind where the ECU is and then up into the engine bay here, which we can see here. Now the next thing that we need to do, whoops, um, is we need to tap into the high pressure fuel line, which is this one here, and we need to put our little T-piece in there, which then goes to the solenoid. So this little guy here, that changes it to a little AN. So I'm gonna do that. Um, we've also got our nozzle in for the nitrous. Um, now I wasn't aware of this because uh, I guess I just haven't really done that many nitrous kits But I used to think they needed to go close to the throttle body But Chris was saying they need to be like 12 inches away, right? Yeah, yeah, like you said the pressure here It'll force it straight to the back two cylinders. Okay, and you don't want that them right in and then you might have some loss Yeah, so it'll be like un unequally distributed between the cylinders yeah. So a little bit further back there and we're gonna have the nozzle obviously right here So you should have a nice distance to spread that all out and mix it nice, so. It's called fogging. Fogging? It'll be a, it'll be a fogger. A fogger, hey? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm pumped. So, uh, we're gonna pretty much just mount the nozzles, uh, sorry, the solenoids wherever we can in the engine bay here, wherever it's gonna work, um, so that you know everything can reach the nozzle. And then I guess the next step is gonna be wiring, um, which should be relatively easy as well, but I would love to use the horn button if possible, because you know when you're off, well, I didn't know that was gonna work with the car off. Um, when you're off-roading, obviously, you want to have both hands on the wheel. You're rarely changing gears. Um, but tonight, if we can't figure out the horn button, we will just set it up with a push button so that we can at least feel some NOS. We're getting closer, guys. 
get excited. We're just lining everything up with the lines to the fogger here. Um, but these are where the solenoids are. We're gonna tuck these down a little bit under the, um, like probably about there, they're gonna be tucked and zip tied up. All the lines are gonna go really nice through here, get all zip tied up as well. Doesn't need to be like a perfect, like hidden and tucked install. Like as you guys know, this is, it's not really like a car that you really care about how it looks. Let's be real for a second. Um, you can see there we got the fuel, high pressure fuel line tapped in down there and everything. Pretty much all the mechanical side of stuff is done. The main thing we need to do now is, um, Chris is just looking up actually the pill sizes. So we know what pills to put in what. Um, we're gonna go for probably around uh, 70 shot. Um, we may even just start off at a 50 shot, but we'll figure that out when we look at the pill stuff. All I have to do now is wiring. So I'm gonna start getting some wires sorted out. Um, the best thing about solenoids as well is that they don't care about polarity. So we're gonna ground one wire from each solenoid and then the other one just goes to a positive source that we'll put on the flicking switch. Now I'm pretty sure that the horn switch actually uses a ground, so I'm probably gonna use a relay um, from the horn switch to trigger the nitrous on the solenoids. But obviously we need an arming switch first though, um, because you just don't wanna every time you hit the button just nos spraying. You wanna have a switch on the dash so that um, when you switch it on, it arms the system, meaning that then it will introduce nitrous. So let me just go through and see what we've got here in the shop. But no matter what, if we don't have all the parts I need to get the horn switch working, we will have this thing. Um, we'll be pushing the button tonight for sure. So before we make a silly mistake and we completely forget to put these pills in, we're doing that now. Um, now in this particular version, the 35, for a 50 shot, 35 pill goes in the nitrous one and a 20 goes in the fuel. So we've got those bad boys there and they just slot in there and then you screw your AM little fitting line on top of that and then when you tighten that that controls how much kind of sprays and fogs into the intake which these numbers are based on fuel pressure that's right yeah so um from my understanding is these things shouldn't really see more than 40 psi fuel but um we will know that for sure on the dyno tomorrow for a few couple quick hits tonight don't think it's going to be much of an issue no. plus 40 psi is kind of like a happy happy place yeah that was right in the middle of their chart yeah, Honestly. So that's like mid middle zone, I guess. Right. So I've wired everything in with the horn button, and for a moment there, I was thinking, man, this is gonna be really, really like annoying, hard to find, go through the fuse box and everything. And then it hit me. The horn's literally right there, and there's a positive lead going straight to it. So I just tapped straight into it, grounded out <laughs> solenoids. We're gonna push the horn button now, and I think they're gonna click. Oh, oh that's great, bro. Let me feel them both. Hit that it one more time. Super easy. Do it one more, one time. more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so I can. Oh yeah, we're live, buddy. This is the horn button. Yeah. Dude. This is so simple. Now I don't have an arming switch right now, which is a little bit ghetto. But if you think about it, it's only going to spray nos when the bottle's on. Um, the only thing it'll spray will be fuel then, so it'll just richen it up. But that is still kind of dangerous. So tomorrow, what I'm going to actually do is wire in the arm switch to disconnect the fuse in the fuse box for the horn, which is really easy. It's one snip of a wire and two wires and a switch. So that'll actually create an arm uh, switch so that there won't be any fuel or nitrous spraying unless that's switched on. But there you go. So off-roading vehicle, sure, it may not have a horn, um, but you know what? I can connect a horn to the nitrous. So when the nitrous is on, the horn is on at the same time. I think that'd be kind of funny. Anyways, let's zip tie everything down and then go spray. I'm down. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. We're now finished with all the wiring, all the tie laps, zip ties, all the lines are beautifully, all out of harm's way. Even in here, we've got those nice little clamps on there that bring it all the way around so the passenger's not gonna get, like, you know, it, it tangled up on their legs or anything. Same on the back there, all tied down and then come straight into the trunk, ready for the bottle. And I think, I think it's time. I think it's time. I'm ready, man. All right, let's go, let's listen to this. Oh, all right, we want this bottle all the way cranked open. Wow, she's cold up here, bro. She's nice and icy cold? Oh, there's literally frost developing around this fitting. For real? Yeah, look, just got a little, we might have a little leak, actually. Yeah, I think we got a leak. We definitely need to oh, attend to that. Oh, that's a leak. Oh, for sure, that's a leak. All right, we're gonna fix that leak real quick. Just finished fixing our little leak. All it was, was I forgot to put Teflon tape on that one little fitting, so we just did that, and now we're all good to go. You ready to spray? Ready. Let's go spray. 
Got to make sure the bottle's on all the way again now. Oh man, I'm way too excited for this. <laughs> Have you ever seen a crazier car with nitrous? Yada. Yada. Jump in. Okay, we're good now. Probably the fastest wet kit install I've ever done, honestly. Yeah, right? It took no time at all to install this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hand the camera to Chris so he can film. All right, we got some fresh 93 in her now, and she's warmed up. So I think it's time we gave her a first little nitrous or a little rip. All right, that's first. We're gonna wait till we're getting in the top of second. Okay, what a difference that made! That helps if I turn my lights <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a difference that made! Dude, that was 50 shot. That was easily 50 shot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wrong gear. What a difference that makes. Dude, 50 oh, shot. Again. Yep. Yeah. Alright, wait till we're 4,000. Go! Wow! That's so cool. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Oh man. That works. Dude, that works so well. I don't think we need any more than that. No. That lock diff life though. You'll get used to that. That's so good. No, like that's just perfect for bogging out of mud and stuff. No, you're right. And that's the one problem with nitrous is you get a little used to it and then you change the and jets you hit it some and more. then you have a problem. So yeah, that's what I did on the Civic. I started at like a 50 shot and ended at 120 like in a day. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that it could be addicting. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I really do like that dip. Sounds yeah. great on concrete. Yep. <laughs> This car is so much fun. Alright. Second to third at least. Nah, we can't get that. No. We don't have enough road for that. Okay. That solves the big wheel issue of it like bogging down so much. Right. Man, every off-road vehicle needs a nitrous kit. I can't wait to see what the difference is on the dyno. Right. Nitrous is fun, I love it. Oh, me too, big fan. Great. It's such a kick. It's like it's like you clutch kick it. You can really feel that. You really feel it, right? You really can feel that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got the third gear that time. Yeah. This thing, yeah. The the nitrous is makes it. The nitrous makes it. Pretty much, it's just like added VTEC. Yep. But a little bit more of an oomph. Yep. Oh, I love this car now. I wish I wish I wasn't selling it anymore. What a shame. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Well worth it. Was it a two hour install, not even? Oh, I, was it that long? I don't think so. It flew right by. Yeah. So the nitrous kit has been installed. Tomorrow we're gonna to throw it on the dyno. We'll be able to check our AFRs and make sure everything's dialed there with the fuel pills and the nitrous pills. But just for the few hits that we did tonight, 
shouldn't be a problem. Also, you can really tell like if something's wrong with detonation and stuff like that just by listening to the engine. The engine actually sounded like it just loved everything I threw at it. Um, so that's really encouraging. Um, I do have the opportunity of obviously upping the pills and increasing the shot of nitrous, but I just don't think it needs it. I think that 50 shot is going to be perfect for the purpose of what I put it in there for, which is just like when you're bogged down in mud and stuff to just hit that and send it and get out of there as quick as you can. Um, so I think really it's, it's a really good addition to this car. I'm going to quickly turn off the bottle because that's still on for sure. But yeah, super simple, just a wet nitrous kit. Um, something, I mean, like it really doesn't take much to install. Super fun. And I mean, I'm sure you could tell, like everyone calls this stuff laughing gas, but it's literally just because you have so much fun with it. But I, I mean, obviously there's other reasons too, but just checking over here, making sure everything's all good there. It looks like we didn't have any leaks or anything, which is good to know. But yeah. Man, this thing, honestly, it performed so well. I was so shocked that that 50 shot felt so good. It literally, like, it, it the only way I can describe it is, is imagine, like, VTEC coming on, but, like, three times as harder. It's just, like, this big bomb. I'm sure you could hear it in the videos, but nitrous is sick. I love nitrous. Oh, gosh. I want to put nitrous on everything. So I think that's where we're going to end today's video. So much fun for literally the simplest, easiest thing, like, I don't know of any other way to get that same result of extra boost in power with such little time and effort involved. Seriously, that nitrous kit is so cheap for pretty much the amount of money that you spend on that and the amount of time to get that much gain and then be able to change pills and things like that to get even more gain. It's kind of crazy. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things depending on what country you're in and stuff like that, whether or not you can have nitrous in a streetcar, um, but mainly it should only be used for racing purposes. But I mean, hey, off-road vehicles, practically off the street and racing purposes, in my opinion. I don't know about the police officers, but uh, anyways, we don't do the things that we do because we care about what they think, right? Um, I'm not encouraging anyone to break the law. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, write us a comment, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video where we're gonna be throwing, oh, it's not in this, it's not in the workshop, but we're gonna be throwing the Yiyata on the dyno to see how much power it's putting down at the wheels now. It's, uh, dude, I'm excited. That car has come a long way. It sucks that I'm only gonna own it for such a short period of time, but at least we're seeing things through. So, with that guys, catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace out, Jamata.